Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm showing you everything that I ate for the day, 25 grams of net carbs. If you're new here, my name is Kathleen Hart. I'm a mindset and weight loss coach and I help clients every day do what I'm doing right now. So I'm practicing what I preach by eating to improve my health. So if you missed my last video, which talked all about my new journey, which is eating for my gut health, definitely check that one out. I'll link it down below. But I'm eating food specifically to improve my gut health bacteria. I've had amazing results. It's been uh, about three weeks. By the time you guys see this video, it will be three weeks that I've been doing it. I share my entire journey in more depth on Instagram, so make sure you're following me there. But yeah, I've been eating for my gut health bacteria to try to improve it. And I follow a carb cycling, low carb lifestyle, which is how I lost over 65 pounds and I'm maintaining it now for over two years. But it's possible guys, and this can be fun and this can be easy, you just have to let it be, right? So let's get on into what I ate today and then we'll chat a little bit in, later in the video about motivation and how to do this, how to get this done, how to get unstuck. If you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to start, if you're trying to stick to your plan and you just can't or you can't maintain your weight loss, how can I get unstuck? Stay tuned, I'll share it with you my tips. Okay, today I'm starting off with a medium iced coffee from Dunkin', this is just black. I get nothing in it. Then I bring it home and I add in one tablespoon of heavy cream and a little squirt of liquid stevia. And then I have the most glorious, amazing coffee that will give me a lot of energy for my morning ahead. And I start my morning off with that and a big Stanley full of water. So this is a 40 ounce Stanley. I will drink three of these in a day and that will get me to my 120 ounce water goal. And I find with this cup, it's just so easy. And these are like all the rage right now. And I can't tell you why, but the witchcraft is real. You just need one of these cups. I have two now. So I break my fast with this delicious smoothie, usually around 12.30, one o'clock. All you need is five ingredients, Everything you see here, this is my favorite protein powder of the moment. Hemp hearts, some unsweetened coconut flakes, some frozen fruit, this is my favorite one right now from Wegmans, and some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. It is a 32 ounce smoothie. I start with a bunch of ice. And then I add in two scoops of the vanilla protein powder. This is great because I'm getting 50 grams of protein just from the protein powder, and it's only 200 calories, but the smoothie is going to be, it's 468 calories. I just add the protein powder in over the ice. I do a little coconut flake. In this one, I did do um, a quarter of a cup. I have scaled it back to three tablespoons instead of four. I also add in the hemp hearts. These are so nutty, and they make they make it taste like peanut buttery without actually adding in the nuts, and they have a higher protein, so I just love hemp hearts, and they're on my gut health list for things I need to eat more of, so I'm adding that in. And then I'm going in with this fruit blend. So pineapples, strawberries, and mango and also peaches. They're all on my list for things that I can incorporate to improve my gut health, so I'm eating that. The hemp hearts are great. And then the almond milk too is something that's good for me right now, so it's this is like a gut health jam-packed smoothie. And I always love to add a little bit of sweetener to the fruit, just that little bit that you saw, because I feel like it just brings out the natural sweetness in the fruit itself, and then it just makes the protein shake just taste so much better. You only need a little bit too. And then I'm gonna be adding in a cup of almond milk and this amount of almond milk to this ratio of other ingredients is gonna make a very thick smoothie, almost like a milkshake. And I've been obsessed with that texture for this specific smoothie. And I'm using my Ninja Blender today. I love this thing because it has like this smooth boost to it. It just makes it so that everything is completely pulverized. There's no seeds in there from the strawberries or anything. It just does the job. So I blend this up for one minute and then it is absolute perfection. You can see how thick it is. Like, oh my gosh, it's so good. And I had a cup and a half. Like there's still another serving in there because this was a big smoothie. This is 32 ounces. I love this smoothie. It's creamy, it's nutty, but then it's also sweet from the fruit, but then it's not too sweet. And you've got the vanilla on the back end from the protein powder and the almond milk. And I just think it's the perfect 
really great balanced smoothie for breaking your fast at lunch. So today around 11 o'clock, I started getting that headachey feeling and I knew I needed my electrolytes, so I just popped an orange electrolyte salt packet from Element into some water and I drank that right up. And then a little bit before dinner, I decided to make myself like this little charcuterie platter, <laughs> a quarter cup of blackberries. So I do a quarter cup of blackberries. I did one slice of cheese for some healthy fats, some macadamia nuts. I just did five nuts right here. This is the perfect snack for if you just want to eat something with protein and healthy fat to hold you over just as a little mini snack. Okay, so before we get into dinner, which you definitely don't wanna miss because this is one of my favorite go-to weeknight dinners and I know you guys will like it too, these salmon nourish bowls. Oh my gosh, they're so good. But let's chat really quick about how to keep your motivation going or even how to start a diet plan. I get the question all the time, how do you do this? How do you start? How do you maintain your weight loss? How do you keep motivated in the middle of your weight loss journey when you may be going through a plateau or whatever? No matter where you are in your journey, there's going to be struggle points and I've been through them all. These are my tips for not only starting your journey, but also staying accountable and motivated when you are just not wanting to do that anymore because that's there's gonna come a time where that happens. My number one thing is to have a solid plan in place. You can't just wake up and say, okay, April 1st, I'm gonna lose weight. It's like, no, what are you doing? What's your plan to lose weight? What are you gonna be eating? What are you gonna be doing for exercise? What are you gonna be doing for water drinking? How are you gonna tackle all of those things. You're gonna to try to do them all at once. Or you're gonna break them up into small and manageable habits to stack on top of each other. Like, what are you doing? What's your plan? That's always my first question when I talk to my clients. I say, well, what's your plan gonna be? What do you wanna focus on first? That has to be, there has to be a direction. You can't just go into it and say, oh, I'm just waking up tomorrow and starting my diet. Like, what does that mean? So make sure you've got a solid plan in place that you can then implement and hold yourself accountable for. And as always, if you need accountability or motivation or the tools, I'm here. All my coaching stuff is down in the description box. All my links, um, set up a call with me, it's all down there. But on top of having a plan, you've gotta have some goals. So why are we doing this? What is your plan and then what is the goal that's attached to that? What do you wanna accomplish weight loss wise? Do you wanna get off medication? Do you wanna just lose weight? Do you wanna just fit into this dreamy dress? Like what is it? What are your whys? Do you wanna run around with your kids or your grandkids? Or maybe do you wanna run a marathon? Like what are your whys? And don't feel bad about any whys because everybody's got them and they're all gonna be different. So if yours is solely just to lose weight or just to fit into a pair of jeans, more power to you, that's awesome. Get clear on what those goals are and don't feel ashamed or any ill feelings about whatever your goals are because they're yours. Take hold of them, those are your whys and those are what's going to power you through on the tough days. So let's talk about tough days. There's going to be days in your journey where you just don't wanna do this anymore. And the easy way out, which actually turns into the harder way out, is to give up. Because when we give up, we put ourselves right back at square one where we're uncomfortable and not happy. So it's like the uncomfortable comfort zone is what I like to call it. And you're not gonna accomplish anything by doing that. So my next tip would be you've gotta push through. You've got to have the motivation and milk that motivation on the days where you really have it, but then you've also gotta take that motivation and power it through to the days when you really don't wanna do this anymore. And there's going to be days like that, but there's days like that in in life, you know? But in your weight loss journey, we're so prone to just giving up when things get tough. But when things get tough, that's the time when we need to stand up and stand up for what we're, what we're fighting for. If we're fighting to fit into those jeans, if we're fighting to lose pounds on the scale, if we really are fighting to play with our grandkids and not be winded, to run that marathon, to get off that diabetes medication or whatever you're trying to do, those are the whys. And those are the things you've got to carry with you on the tough days. And I promise you, the tough days feel a lot more intense in the beginning, but once you get through one or two of them, it's easy. It becomes easy. It's almost like we have to prove to ourselves that we can do this. And then once you do that, the whole thing gets so much easier. So we can't keep doing the same thing and then expecting different results. If your diet is out of control right now, you're eating everything and anything, you're, there's no portion control, there's no tracking, there's a lot of takeout food that's unhealthy takeout food, or maybe there's a lot of eating at night, you know, mindless snacking, stress eating, all of those things. We can't keep doing those habits, because that's all they are is habits, 
and expect different results. So in order to get to a healthier version of you, you've got to do things differently. You've got to try some new things. You've got to kind of rein it in a little bit and not just let ourselves go so crazy when it comes to food. Remember, food should be and nourishment. It's food for our body and our soul. So what are you doing to make your soul feel better, make your body feel better? What are you nourishing your body with? That's kind of a little turning point that I had recently where I took the gut health test and then I started eating these foods and my body just was like, thank you so much. And I'm literally so happy that I started doing that because now I can really focus on a different way of eating. I'm enjoying my food so much more now, so much. I mean, I love food, I have always loved food and I enjoyed it a lot before, but now it's different because now I'm like, wow, these blackberries, like these are nourishing my body, they're making my gut healthier, they're making me less bloated, they're making my hourglass shape come back, they're making my inflammation go down, like heck yes to blackberries, like I'm so thankful for them and I'm thankful for the test that told me to eat more of them. So, you know, it's like a very positive experience now when I eat and I absolutely love this little shift that I had mindset wise and that would be my last tip is figure out what's blocking your mindset from actually sticking to your plan. If you fall off track at the same time, every time when you're starting your diet and maybe that's on day one, you're just like, oh, this is too much. Or maybe you're a week in and you're like, oh, I don't see enough results, I'm giving up. Or maybe you've lost all of your weight and then you're like, oh, I can't maintain this, what do I do now? There's a mindset block in there or multiple mindset blocks. I had so many, so many mindset blocks. What we have to do is we have to clear those out of here so that you can not only get to your goals, but finally like level up and live your best life, you know? Because the reason why we want this weight loss journey is because in having the weight loss, we'll feel better in having the weight loss. So what we have to do is figure out what's blocking us because we should all be living our best lives every single day. That's what I promote here and on Instagram and I just want everyone to be super happy and content with their lives and getting your health under control should always be the number one top priority right now in your life. It's all we've got. If you don't have your health, what do we have, you know? So it's the best to take back your control over the food, over the scale, over the body image, mindset stuff. Take back your control over all that. Stop running on autopilot. Take back your control and like, let's do this. Let's do this. I've been showing you guys what I've been doing for years now and I hope I've inspired you on this channel, but my main goal too is to urge you just to start whatever you want to do. Start keto, start low carb, start Weight Watchers, start calorie counting, start the Mediterranean diet, whatever you want to do and much more. Whatever you want to do, just start it and stick to it long enough to see some results and to see if it works for you. That's it. That's my main message today. But I hope that um, motivational talk helped you. If you are interested in coaching, group coaching one-to-one -one, or my mindset master classes, it's all down in the description box. Check that out. Message me with any questions, but let's get on into this amazing salmon bowl dinner. You're going to love it. Run to your store and grab some salmon, like right now, after you, well, after you watch the video. Let's make this gorgeous dinner in like two seconds flat. This is the easiest dinner you will ever do. So I'm trying out the Palmini fried rice. Spoiler alert, it's bomb. I loved it so much. Go grab it, it's amazing. It tasted like vegetable soup. Um, then I grabbed some wild sockeye salmon from my store. How gorgeous is this? Like no filter, beautiful color, love it. I just did a pan sear on that with salt and pepper, that's it. And then in another skillet, I did some zucchini and some mushroom, two of my superfoods. So I just cooked these with some Italian seasoning, a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder, salt and pepper until they were cooked through. The salmon I cooked in the other pan, just pan fried it real quick with salt and pepper. Plated this up with the microwaved hearts of palm rice. This was to die for. Perfect family dinner too, because I made the same thing for my husband, just with roasted asparagus and some rice and peas. I hope you guys liked this one. I wanted to give you my full macros for the day so you could just kind of see my baseline for a normal low carb day for me. So today was a 1200 calorie day. It was like exactly 1200, which is crazy. So 1200 calories, 92 grams of protein, and 25 grams of net carbs. So this was like a perfect day for me, macro wise. I got all my water in, got my electrolytes, got my good snacks. 
wasn't hungry, I felt really good. So if you liked this one, don't forget to thumbs it up and also subscribe to my channel for more weight loss content, motivational content, mindset talk, all of the things. But I'll see you guys in my next video next week. Bye guys.